person interests are writing poems in my free time. I like reading a lot, and I often knit like an old grandma. <laughs> yeah, my friends think I'm halfway between an old lady and a gamer because I knit half the time and I play video games half the time. My favorite kind of poetry right now is slam poetry because one of my friends showed me, you know that dude who played, oh crap, that dude who was at the Olympics? And then he showed me another one of his poems called Crickets Have Arthritis, it's really good. And my English teacher also started showing us slam poetry, and I got really into it, and Sarah Kay is also a really lawyer, good slam poet. And so I started writing my now, I guess own slam poem, for just for really English, sure but then other than that, about, I do write it's really other poems. And I've submitted one to Richmond Public really Library, and I actually won a prize. I can plan my and and so poetry is just something I dabble in. But I really like slam poetry right now. It's good. This poem is called Still, and I dedicate it to Maria Esther, who commissioned it in the first place. Reach out your hand to grasp at the wind, the ever-moving wind, how fickle it is. She will not stay with you, she, she will never the love sense, you back. She the the rain, the voices, but she won't carry you away. She'll leave you right where she's, you're standing, with your hate, your loss, your misery. Try, try to jump into the wind you so long to fly away with, but she'll run right past you to run around the earth another millennia, while you are tethered to the ground. Scream. Scream about how unjust the world is, about how everyone you love is dead and gone while you are left alone. Scream. Scream about how there is nothing left, nothing is worthwhile, how everything has turned into nothing. You silly, ugly, pitiful, wretched creature. Don't you know you're already dead? Dead isn't when you're dead and gone, oh no. Dead is when living on your knees with the wind knocked out of you, unwilling or unable to stand. That is being dead. Dead isn't when you stop breathing, oh no. Dead is when you unable when you have no reason left to breathe. It's being unable to taste the sweetness of the air or the bitterness of smoke. That is being dead. And so you see, little one, you have been dead for a very long time. There is nothing here for you but the wind that won't be here for you. Living is beautiful. There is beauty in chaos. And if you have not learned this yet, then you deserve to be dead right where you are standing, unable to let go of your misery, lost, but refusing, yes, refusing to let go of your loss. You go on, choose. Choose to make something beautiful and lasting so that you will live even when you are dead. Get up, move, little one. The wind is ancient and all-seeing, and she who is fickle brings along fickle fate. And if you don't grab the chances while they're there, then all too soon they'll be gone, gone, gone. I'm not sure exactly when I started singing because it's farther back than I can remember, but my relatives have funny stories of me as like a one-year-old or two-year-old just making up my own random songs, so. <laughs> After high school, career-wise, I'd want to be a teacher, but life-wise, I'd like to go on a mission somewhere, like as a missionary for my church, and I'd also like to get married, have a family. Got really into it, and Sarah K is also uh, a really lawyer, good slam poet, and so I started writing my now, I guess, own slam poem for just for really English, sure but then other than that, about, I do write it's really other poems, and I've submitted one to Richmond Public really Library, and I actually won a prize. And, and, and so poetry is just something I dabble in, but I really like slam poetry.